Tonight, a story of big money and bribery we first saw in the New York Times. Sounds like something out of the movies. But today, the man at the center of an alleged tomato bribery scheme was arraigned in federal court. And here's ABC's Lisa Stark. A salesman walks into a corporate conference room. At the table, a buyer. The salesman drops a $100 bill on the floor. Is this yours, he says? If the buyer nods, he knows he's hit pay dirt. He was essentially bragging about how he could uh, kind of hook recipients and, and reel them in. At the center of the scandal, SK Foods of California, which turned vast quantities of tomatoes into paste, selling it as an ingredient to major food makers. Prosecutors say over a decade, company owner Scott Salyer, working with a middleman who stuffed cash into envelopes and wrote checks labeled art payment, bribed purchasing managers at some of America's biggest food companies, including Kraft, Frito-Lay, Safeway, B&G Foods, bribed them into buying SK's tomato products. One buyer made more than $150,000 in bribes. What is unusual in this case is the, uh, the, the scope and duration of the conduct and the high levels that it, it went to uh, within SK Foods. To make matters worse, the tomato paste that SK Foods was pushing was sometimes moldy and out of date. It should normally never have been sold. Food makers say they unknowingly turned the bad tomato paste into sauces, ketchup, salsa, soups, sold across the country, and nobody caught on. And luckily, nobody got sick. SK Foods certainly demonstrates that the culture of corruption is unfortunately alive and well in the food industry. Scott Sawyer's lawyer says he's innocent, but authorities say this man who made millions was planning to flee the country when they closed in. Lisa Stark, ABC News, Washington.